Psalms Psalms 127 Our heavenly Father Please we ask you for your grace and for your wisdom so that we may know how to father our children Give us the strength Give us the wisdom and give us the power Give us prosperity so that we may usher these children into, into the next generation, into the next future. Let everybody say amen. Why do you want to be wealthy? Why does God want you to prosper? Number one, for his, for his kingdom and your children among, among his, his kingdom. God wants to provide for you so that you may provide for your children. They may not move around like destitutes. But sometimes the Bible says that we ask and receive not because we ask wrongly. God looks at our motive. Say, God, make me prosperous. So that I may move around and these people will know that I am great. God prosper me. Because I need to be dressed excellently. I want to put on the best fashion in town. So that I can visit the best saloons in town. But great minds ask for prosperity so that you may take care of your family your children Lord please bless me because it's your will to bless me so that I may build a house for my family they may have a shelter. Lord bless me so that I can have money to take my children to school. To, to provide food for them. To give them clothing. To provide for what they need. Not what they desire. Because children will, ask, will come and ask for iPad. So is an iPad a need? No. There are some things that are destructive. My children, sometimes they go and visit their aunts. So when they come back, they say, Dad, so and so has this and this. You know, they have an iPad, they have even their own smartphones, they have, but Dad, why, why don't you buy for me? Why don't you buy for us? And yet they are the same age. But you, Daddy, you say that we have to get iPad, we have to get phones when we are grown up. So I always tell them every good is permissive, everything is permissible, but it's not constructive. I, I, I don't think you, you need it. You can live without it. But if you say, we don't have a mattress, you don't have clothes, that is understandable. Okay, Dad, we understand. Amen. Amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, Psalms 127. This Psalms uh, is talking about children. Amen. Amen. And a home. It begins by saying, Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. Verse 2. In vain you raise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. 
mukolera bwerere bwe mukera okugolokoka era bwe mulwao ennyo okwebaka verse 3 sons other bible say actually children amen other amen. versions say children in the bible wherever you see sons it's talking about children. It's not talking, it's, it's not using the, uh, uh, the English grammar as, as boys. It's talking about children. Sons, now let's put it this way. Um, um, uh, what does KJV say? What does KJV say? Good. Uh huh. Let me read it from KJV. Law children are an heritage from the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. Lava Avana, we will see Kavua Mukama. Nevi Bala Biolu Vuto, Yemperae. Let's go back to NIV. Today, Monsi Vonoledi. Verse 4. NIV, verse 4. NIV, verse 4. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are sons born in one's youth. Verse 5. No, no, sorry. <laughs> I think. Yeah, verse 5. Okay. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their enemies in the gate. Alino mukiso muntu o mufuko gwe bwe gujulabo. Teva kwa ti wenga nsoni. Bwevana yogeranga avalabe bawe mu muliango. Amen. Amen. Now let's go back. Let's let's visit back the scripture. Katudem biawan de kibo. Amen. 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 Now the Bible says, blessed is Aaron. Let us go back to verse 1, please. Just be quick. Unless the Lord builds a house, the builders labor in vain. Now let's put it this way. Unless the Lord gives children, the husband and the wife will get you nothing. Unless the Lord builds the children. Unless you invite him. What this scripture means. You have a choice to invite God in your business. Or you have a choice to let him out. You have a choice to build and labor to build your own home. You have a choice to labor to build your country by your own selves. Or you can have a smart choice and ask God to involve in the formation of your house. But God is giving you a counseling here. And he's saying, Yes, you can go ahead and build your house. But you can labor in vain. You can go ahead and watch over your city. To watch over your fortune. To watch over your empire. But it, it will be in vain. But if you allow God to take part in your vision, to take part in your children, to take part in whatsoever you are doing, then you'll be blessed. You'll be, you'll be blessed in the city, you'll be blessed in the village. And your children will be blessed. Today we have decided to invite God to be part and parcel 
of, 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 of the formation of our children. Come on, give God a mighty heart. Verse 2. Amen. Verse 2. In vain you raise early and stay up late. Toiling, toiling for food to eat God is saying you can go ahead and you can work with all your strength it's up to you you can ask me to intervene or you can ignore me but I'm telling you the result will be visible and then he goes and and then he says because it is him who, who grants sleep to those who loves him now let, let's put this scripture to the uh, to mean what we have come to do today. If the Lord doesn't take care of children, if the Lord doesn't raise up children, parents will raise them in vain. If the Lord does not watch over your children, it doesn't matter how vigilant you are, you will watch over them in vain. In vain, you will stay up late. No, no. In vain, you will stay late okay. to take care of them. In vain, will you raise up early to go and look for them food it doesn't matter how many doctors you have it doesn't matter how much money you have because you can't watch over your children through the watches of the night you can't watch over your children through the hours of the day for death will steal them at an hour that you do not know. Calamities will come, will strike at an hour that you least expect. Amen. Amen. That's why it's important if we want to see our children impacting the next generation. We have to involve Jehovah. Say amen. Just put up your hands right now. And say, Lord Jesus, I surrender. I surrender my children, my family, my wife, my husband, in your hands. In your hands. Right now, in your own words. Go ahead and speak just in two minutes. Because I know you may be hungry right now. Maybe you are hungry for something. You want to pray for something. You are hungry about it. You want to speak it to God. Maybe there's something that you are seeing in your family. Yes, right now, let us pour it to God. It could be sicknesses. It could be, I don't know. No, it could be uh, dumbness in the children. They're, they're always the last. And this hurts you much. Our heavenly father. We have come as parents. And others have come as parents to be. And others we have come as guardians. But Lord, we commit these children in your hands. Bless them, Lord. Father of universe, the God of all creation, we are calling on your holy name. If we do not entrust our children to you, 
Kanisa. In vain shall we keep them. I commit my children. I commit our children. We commit our families. To take our families is a In your hands, Lord. Let the neighbors see the difference. We come against wicked forces. The plans of the devil. Which the devil is castrating right now. Against our children. Like accidents. Wrong relationships. Sicknesses. Bad decisions. We come against them. We come against curses. We come against divination. Divination of our children. Over we come against them. No divination against our children. No weapon formed against them. No curse against them. No witchcraft. No divination. Neither any wrong words against them. Lord, we come against words spoken against them. Maybe from wicked people. Maybe from bad teachers at school. And the devil is using them to speak wrong words against them. Towards them. We come against those, those words. We cast them out. We refuse them. We render those words powerless. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Church. Begin to bless your children now. Bless the children. Bless them. Ask for the blessing. Ask for the blessing. We bless our children. They shall be great in the land. My children will prosper. My children will be above, not below. My children shall build in the most fertile places. Their tents will be far from calamities. They shall walk in the presence of the Lord. Hey, let the angels of the Lord take control. Our children will be blessed in the city. Will be blessed in the village. Our children they shall see the goodness of the Lord. Our children will overcome. And they, sh they have overcome the powers of the wicked one Satan has no power of our children our children are blessed our children walks in blessing our children are blessed they are blessed in business they are blessed in education they are blessed in politics they are blessed in everything Rindere me kayanda rabaka ha. Eh, the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, yo mutukufu. The Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, yo mutukufu. We surrender our children to you. Abana ba fetu ba take kam mikono jo. We surrender their eyes to you. To take kam ula muwa we mikono jo. We put their bodies to you. Ebi bi di chao we to take kam mikono jo. We put their future to you. Abana ba 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 ba
We refuse nightmares. Our children will not see demons in their dreams. Our children will see angels. Lord, you said, ask. Lord, you said, ask. And it shall be given. And it shall be given. Lord, you said, whatsoever you desire, if you ask from me, you receive it. Now, Jesus, 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 we commit our children. We commit our generation. We commit this, I mean, the next generation into your hands. Lord, be their God. God, be their father, be their light, be their provider, be their rock, be their living water, be their peace of joy, Lord, be their peace, be their rest. Let them know you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. The future depends on how well you place that child into the hands of God. Amen. Let's go on. As I'm winding up now. Children are heritage from the Lord. Children are a reward from Him. Verse 4. Now, this is very important. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. NIV calls them sons, and I told you sons means children. Amen. Like arrows. Like arrows. Now, let me ask you what do people use arrows for? Uh-huh. Yes, what do people use arrows for? I can't hear you. To fight. Yeah, to fight, to defend yourself. Amen. Amen. So arrows back then. Of those who are called bullets. So if you want to defend your country, to defend your inheritance, you have to get gun. In those days, a nation was guarded by having lots and lots of arrows. Amen. So whenever an intruder or invader came in, what they would do, they would blow the horn, the trumpet, uh, to signal the army to come over and defend the nation. Then they would get ready. And they would not go there, but they would send the arrow, and the arrow would bring judgment on their enemy. Amen. Now, what does it mean when God says, Remember? If you build, I mean, if the builder builds without me, he builds in vain. And then he says, whoever watches over the city without me, he watches over in vain. And then he says, children are heritage from the Lord. And then he says, they are likened an arrow. 
kakati mukama ategeza chibu agama ntubu zimbe chibu mtu wa zimbe chibu ganga tazimbe na anga zimbe dewelele obo kome chibu ganga tokomi na ango kome dewelele atena lioka dako na agama ntia habana busika avu ange atena lioka agama ntia balingovu sari so what god was saying here katonda yali ategeza chibu your children habana vo are your arrows busari vo for your future vo vla mbobo masu Amen. Amen. Your children will be your arrows. They will be the people to bring judgment on your enemy. You have so many enemies. The enemy of your marriage the enemy of your prosperity the enemy could be your education the enemy could be your prosperity you never made it in life no, no. maybe you, made a, you, you never made it and you are not well financially but your children will be your error they will go and they will go and conquer and kill that enemy called poverty. Maybe in the future, in order to safeguard your inheritance, some of your children will, 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 will be lawyers. And then one day they will ask, but dad, how, how, uh, what happened over there? You know, my neighbor was so powerful, oh, he took over the land. Oh, you mean that's like that? No, I'm a lawyer. Okay, give me all the, uh, give, give me all the detriments. He said, you know what, dad? Just leave it to me. I'll go and do it. Hallelujah! Amen. Your children will be your arrows in the future. It doesn't matter whether you are wealth or not. Your, your children will be your arrows. They will be responsible to bring you that which defeated you. Come on, give God a mighty hand. Clap. Amen. 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 So when you are planning on investment, I hear so many people saying that, you know, I'm planning for the future. Plan for your children as well. Praying with them, guiding them, praying for them, and also educating them. Do whatever it needs to take to help your children. That's why God says, I hate divorce. Because of the godly offspring. Malachi says, God hate divorce. Because the reason he brought you together so that he may get a godly offspring. Now, godly offspring are made. Amen. Amen. Uh, look at this picture. This was a child about 50 years ago. No, 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 about a long time ago. Do you see that person there? Right, uh, he's called Ali Bongo. Ali Bongo. Right now, he's the president of Gabon. President of Gabon. His parents abandoned him. As you know, you can have you, you can have a, you, 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 most people get children, and, and, and then they throw them, they dump them. So whatever happened, what happened? This child was abandoned. And it so happened that he was picked and put in, 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 um, in, in an orphanage. Now that is a picture which was taken when he was very young. Nobody knew 
If the parents knew the source of their prosperity would be their child. If the father, if the father knew that the future, that, that the change of their future belonged to their child would have got stuck with the wife. He would not have been allured by other things. He would have resisted everything. If he knew what the future of that child would be, if the man knew, he would have fought for the well-being of the family. He would have put aside drunkenness. He would have put aside having other women. And he would have fought tooth and nail to preserve the sanctity of his home for the well-being of that child. But do you know what? Whatever happened, because of their decision, because of their feelings, because of their emotions, whatever happened, because of their emotions or feelings, blinded them to see what the future hold for them. And yet, they must have continued suffering. They abandoned the boy and they threw him off 